to dance. Remember to like and subscribe to our line and check out all our fun films at www.adventuresindance.com. Take an adventure, a dance adventure, to foreign exotic places through the art of dance. Today, we're going to take a dance adventure to the high seas for a pirate line dance. This will be a fabulous, fun thing for Talk Like a Pirate Day. So come on with me, mateys, as we learn this pirate line dance. Step one, down up. For eight counts, it looks like this. One, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Step two, triple step, rock step, triple step, and walk around. It looks like this. A one and two, rock step, three and four, walk around. Step three, heel toe, triple step. 16 counts, it looks like this. One, two, triple step, three, four, there you go. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. When you put it all together, it looks like this. ready to dance on deck. Pirates had nothing better to do at sea but to sing and dance like the Ray Stevens song says. So my for my September dances in honor of Talk Like a Pirate Day in sept, on September 19th, I put together a pirate line dance to the tune of Drunken Sailor with four famous female pirates. Piracy dates back to antiquity. In early Greek writing, Piracy was an honorable occupation. The word pirate comes from the Greek for brigand and the Latin pirata for a corsair or sea robber. Vikings raided and pillaged from 8th to 13th century. By the 1300s, the term Viking became known as one who robs at sea. Privateering was a legal form of piracy. There were basically pirates with a commission or a letter of marquee from a government or monarch allowing them to capture ships from enemy nations. Privateering, also known as a corsair, lasted from 1560 to 1815. Pirate code prohibited women as crew. The code prohibited the seducing or carrying of women to sea or in disguise. The penalty was death. This did not stop enterprising ladies from pursuing piracy as an occupation. My favorite female pirate is Grace O'Malley, the Irish pirate queen, who was featured in the musical, The Pirate Queen. She was known as Gwinnell or bald as a result of her habit of cutting her hair short. The story goes she did this because her father told her she could not go to sea with him because her hair would be get caught up in the riggings. She was an Irish buccaneer who took over her father's merchant fleet, which rivaled the British Navy. When captured, she nego negotiated with Queen Elizabeth for the return of her fleet. Following Grace O'Malley were the Irish lawyer's daughter, Anne Bonney, and the English peasant, Mary Reed. In their youth, both dressed as boys to make ends meet. Practiced as wearing the pants in their families, they found their way to Calico Jack Rackham's ship, the William, flying under the Jolly Rogers flag that he created. Once together, this formidable pair fought like banshees when attacked by pirate hunters. When they were captured by these pirate hunters in 1721, 
Anne and Mary were given a stay of execution because they were quick with child. Mary died in prison from fever after childbirth, and Anne disappeared after this instance. The Siren of the Seas and the only American female pirate was Rachel Wall. Hailing from Pennsylvania, Wall married a fisherman and later turned to piracy to make ends meet. Rachel's husband scraped up a crew and put the attractive Rachel on deck as if the ship were distressed. Like a siren, she lured her rescuers to their death as the crew looted her would-be saviors. This continued until 1789 when she was arrested and was the last woman hanged in Boston. Pirates had ample time at sea with need of diversion. The pirate code stated that musicians on a ship shall only rest on the Sabbath or by favor of the ship's captain. Slang for the ship's fiddler is cat gun scraper. So why is this so important? So they could dance. The artist Ray Stevens said, pirates want to sing and dance. To pass the time at sea, pirates would drink, see, sing sea shanties, and dance a jig or two. Popular dances would include a hornpipe and jig. Physical prowess would be demonstrated in their dance skills. Join our four famous female pirates in this pirate line dance how-to. Remember to like and subscribe to our line and check out all our fun films at www.adventuresindance.com.